So I want to cover some LACP port channels. So let's get started here. On this switch, uh, 10 and 11 are actually connected to switch 2. So let's start on those. So I'll switch port, switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q. Switch port mode trunk. Channel group one, we're gonna use one for this one. Mode, and then if we if we use the word active here, that's gonna choose an LACP, non Cisco proprietary port channel. So as you can see, I've created a port channel. And there it is, we have a port channel. Um, one thing I do want to show you is, is just how you can configure commands on the logical interface on the port channel, and it will actually push it to the two physical interfaces if you've never seen that before. Um, so if we go into interface uh, port channel one, let's, let's do like a native, native VLAN here. Um, switch port trunk, native VLAN. And I'm gonna go ahead and use three. Okay, so what you can see here is uh, VLAN 3 has not ever been created on this switch. Uh, so it looks like on this one we actually have two and four. So let's, let's just choose one of those. So again, we're in our port channel. Switch port trunk, native VLAN four. Okay. So if you notice on gig 10 here, that switch port trunk native VLAN 4, that command was pushed from the port channel to the physical port. So if you look on 11, it's also gonna be there. So that's really where you wanna do most of your configuration is on the logical port and, and let it push that out to the physical. Um, if, when you start trying to make the changes on the physical ports, you're, you actually can run into a lot of, a lot of issues there. So, Let's hop over to switch two. Uh, as you can see, 10 and 11 connect to 29 and 31. Switch port. Switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q. Switch port mode trunk. Channel group. Now on the other side, we, we created port channel one. Uh, one thing I want to show you is that number doesn't actually have to match. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of that, but so we could do port channel one on that side and port channel one on, or port channel four on this side. I like to, to keep it matching because it just stops you from getting confused when you have multiple ones, but I just wanted to, for the sake of this demonstration, show you that it doesn't actually have to be the same number. Um, and then mode. Now on the other side, we did active. Uh, we could do active again on this side, and we, you know we could have our LACP port channel established by doing that, or you can actually set this side to passive. And as you can see, port channel four was created. Um, and we do have four on this side as well. So uh, while we're in here, um, let's, let's go ahead and uh, show you the logical interface pushing to the physicals again. So now from interface port channel four, I can do switch port trunk native VLAN four. As you can see, it's pushed it out to the physical interface. So let's take a look at our VLANs again here. What I want to do is 
if you look, we have tech sales and billing. Tech sales and billing. What I would like to do is block all traffic except for the except for the traffic that is coming across on 10, 20, and 30. And so on switch two here we have port channel four. So we're gonna do switch port, trunk allowed, VLAN 10, 20, and 30. We're gonna jump over to switch one to make sure we're on interface port channel one. Switch port, trunk allowed, VLAN 10, 20, 30. Okay. So let's take a look at what we have configured here so far. We set up an LACP port channel, active on switch one, passive on switch two. We're using dot one Q encapsulation, which is gonna be tagging all of our VLANs um, because the native VLAN is four and we are not allowing VLAN four. So all of our VLANs are coming through tagged. Um, the only VLANs allowed are 10, 20, and 30. If we wanna go a bit deeper here, Let's look at our VTP configuration here. So we're in version one, we're in the domain video, and it looks like switch one is set up as a server. Let's hop over to switch two. We are in version one, domain video, set up as a client. Okay, so let's let's push some, some VLANs across this uh, dynamically here. Let's do VLAN 40. We'll do test VTP. Okay, as you can see, VLAN 40 is in our VLAN database here, test VTP. Uh, so because this one is a server and switch to is a client, we should see VLAN 40 dynamically created over there. So as you can see, uh, there's no 40. And as you can see, it was actually pushed across and created on this switch. So that covers LACP port channels, that covers switch port trunk allowed, native VLANs, um, some VTP.